get a job, CC. Okay. God will give you a job. Amen. Are you ready? Amen. God will give you a job. And tell your brother that he must not worry. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. God will fight for you. Um, my name is Ronewa. I stay here in Midrand. Um, the prophecy that I received was about a job. Um, he said, I must, uh, God is going to give me a job and then I must tell my brother not to worry. And for how long has he, has he been searching for a job? Um, last year, September, I resigned from um, my job and then ever since I've been struggling to find a new job. Yeah, and then my brother all along, he's been the one who's been helping me together with my family to, to maintain my life. So that's why um, God is saying he must not worry because him and my dad, they're the ones that are worrying the most. And, and how is this affecting you? Um, it's really affecting me because um, for whatever, everything that needs finances, I need to rely on my family to help me out. Yeah. And today that God has seen your problem and located it for you, what is it that you believe God will do for you now? I believe that my job is coming very soon. Amen. Oh, you me? Yes. You must be careful of high blood. Yes. Oh, you me? Yes. Because sometimes you feel discomfort yes. in your stomach here. Yes, huh? it's true. And now, are you working that shift? No, I'm not working huh? business. Wait, we are not I, working. I was working night shift before. You were working night shift before? Yes. So now the job has ended? Yes. Huh? Yes. There's a testimony that is coming. Out! Out! Come out! Come out, you demon! In Jesus' mighty name. Sir, you are healed. Oh, you know me? There's a spirit Jesus. that wants to. My name is, my name is Mandla Koza. Uh, uh, come from Tembisa, Winnie Mandela. Zone 10. Twin, uh, uh, zone 10. Uh, I, I, I'm here to confess that uh, the prophecy, the. the a uh, man of God says there is a thing that is is is, is sometimes uh, running in my stomach. Yes, it's true. There's a thing that is sometimes uh, uh, run on my stomach. I, I, I'll even touch my stomach, feeling something. Even uh, also the, the 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 issue of high blood. It's sometimes I, I, I'm I'm awake very hot, and 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 and, 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 and I'm awake wet. <coughs> On my pillow. Uh, also, also, also confirm the issue of 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 of, of the the uh, work of uh, yes. I, I was working at, at night shift, and I thank God for healing, and I also thank God for 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 the prophesy that a man of God prophesied me said uh, there is a testimony that is coming. Um, I, I I I thank God a lot. Amen. Give you HIV. Oh, you thank, know me? thank you, Jesus. Because sometimes when you're working, you feel like you can fall. Huh? I feel very you weak. You feel very weak. Yes. And now, if you go to the doctor, they'll say HIV, this and that. But there are people that are feeding you. Yes. In the night. Yes. Huh? Yes. So now, today, there's a solution here. At my oh, you know me? At my business. Where is your wife? I'm not married. <coughs> huh? I'm not married. So today, God is healing you. Thank you, Jesus. God is healing you. And so no HIV here. You are blessed. Oh, you know what I mean? Because you, the same spirit now is eating up everything. Yes. Huh? Yes. Now you were somewhere, 
looked like you were on top there. Yes. Huh? Yes. Everything boom, went down. At the same time. Huh? Yes. You must be careful. You need to live right. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Are you hearing me? Thank you, Jesus. Because you're living a very rough life. So now you need to package your life. You live right. Thank you, Jesus. Because everything about your business now, there's nothing. Nothing at all. You are healed. My name is Philip Ramajan. I am stay, I'm currently staying here in Clayville. I'm currently staying in, here in Clayville. The prophecy that came to me was to say, I'm being fed things during the night. There is, my blood could be affect, is affected by, by, by HIV. And um, the fact that my business has collapsed. <clears throat> and that I've been living a very rough life at some time. I must change my, my, my life. And how were these things affecting you and for how long have, have they been happening? The way I look at it, <clears throat> it has been going on for some time. I used to work, I was employed at some time. I have been employed at some time until I became a manager where I was working. But the challenge that I had was most of my cars that I bought would be involved in accidents. Then the other impact is the, bus is the business has completely collapsed. I mean, two big businesses, but nothing is moving. The, some of the contracts are getting some of the contracts are being cancelled. Uh, investors are pulling out from my from my business. That is, I think that is some of the challenges that I'm experiencing. Ex experience. And how are you feeling now that they've prayed for you? The thing is, as much as I've been in church for some time, I think. There might be some of my lifestyles that, that I have to, to change and focus more unto, unto, unto God. The issue of the business, the issue of the business, Ceci, it will work. Amen. Are you hear me? Yes. And now there's these dreams that are also coming back to you. Yes. Are you hear me? So now it's like these people. The plan is to, you know, to make your mother to cry. Yes. Because whatever that is happening to you is happening to almost all of you. And you, you are healed, sir. Huh? There's a problem you on the chest. Yeah, always. Uh, like it's if there's asthma that is developing. I'm, I'm asthmatic. Huh? I'm asthmatic. You have got asthma. Yes. So today God is healing you. Huh? My name is Tadarim Zonga. I'm from Sincheron. I do confirm the prophecy. I've been as asthmatic for many years now. So it's something that always gives me a challenge, especially in winter. It's very hard to sleep. So I can confirm it's true. Yes. And how is it affecting you? Uh, it, af it affects me a lot, especially at night. Uh, in winter, it's very hard, hard, uh, very hard to sleep. So it was really, really affecting me. Can you also confirm the prophecy? My name is Winnie. The prophecy that I was given is true about the business, that it will work and that there's a spirit that wants to make my mother to cry. It's very true because even last week uh, I was working with my sister. So she just said she can't work with us anymore. So my mom was very hurt because of that. And were you praying that God should locate your challenges? Yes, because I wanted direction, whether I must continue or I must stop, because I was thinking that maybe I will just do the tenders and leave the one of cooking each and every day. And now that they've prayed for you as a family uh, uh, with different kinds of challenges, what is it that you're believing God is going to do for you? Uh, we believe that uh, breakthrough will come and the solution will come on our challenges. Amen. 
whatever that you're doing, it's failing. That's true. Huh? That's true. I saw you trying to study. Yes. Huh? Uh, stand up straight. I saw you trying to study, but I'm seeing problems. Yes. Huh? That's true. It's like every time you have to drop out, out you have to drop out of something. That's true. Huh? That's true. You start something, but you can't finish. I did a lot of courses. Huh? I didn't get a proper job. You did what? I did a lot of courses. So now God will help you. Are you hearing me? Yes. God will help you. So now let let's allow God to give you a proper job now. Because Jesus. you do this, you fail. You do this, you fail. You do. So now, let's allow God to bring a solution. Thank you. Out! Out! Sometimes it's coming to your mind. So God will bless you. Amen. Uh, my name is Mutlajo Mokhali. I come from uh, Zenelong in Tembisa. Today I got a prophecy from uh, Prophet Andres. He actually touched uh, an area in my life where, like, uh, the, the studies. He told me that uh, he sees me doing a lot of things and everything keeps on failing and collapsing, which is true. And then he also told me that uh, he sees me trying to study something. And I, and I said, yes, it was confirmed. And I was also told that I should uh, try to study paramedic. It's something which I never thought of, but I think I will go for it. Um, now, how are you feeling? I feel relieved because I've been confused, especially when it comes to careers. I didn't know what to study. I was really confused. So today, since I got the prophecy, I feel like... I've got like the right path and the right light. Amen. So we need to pray for you. You need to be a Christian. Are you know me? Yes, sir. You need to be serious with your Christianity. Do you hear what I'm saying? You no. must be serious with your Christianity. Okay. Are you know me? Thank you. So that God must be able to bless you. Because in your family, I'm seeing a spirit that you people here, there's issue of children. Are you hearing me? Yes. Because of your forefathers. You know, they used to have children everywhere. But today, may God help you and may you fight this spirit. Are you hearing me? Yeah, man. Because it's, come, it's coming to you. It's, it's like a spirit of lust. Are you hearing me? Yeah, man. So God will help you. Uh, come from Zimbabwe. Yeah, the prophecy is true uh, concerning the the issue of this uh, spirit of uh, having children all over. It's true that uh, from my family, my father and the forefathers, or even the rest of the family, it's like having children here and there. It's true, and I can't deny that. And what was happening with you concerning this? Okay, basically, when it comes to relationships, uh, they can't last. And um, I wouldn't deny the effect of uh, the last and stuff because it's just one of those things. And how was this affecting you? Uh, well, if maybe let me say, if you have that spirit of last, you cannot concentrate on one person. And that finally is maybe to and now what is it that you believe god is going to do for you uh, i believe god is going to heal me from this problem and um, i pray that uh, concerning the issue of the spirit of christianity that uh, was prophesied i wish and i pray that god can actually make me more mature in terms of spirit and what I pray for to actually happen, especially my business. 
there's a lady, you bought a car. You bought a car. After you bought a car, it had an accident. Why were you not coming out? Because I was told that I must stop and call you again. Huh? Sir? Why were you not coming out? Why were you not coming out? I want, to, I want God to help you. Oh, you yeah. know me? Yes. I want God to help you because this thing is becoming like a burden now. It's becoming like a burden to you. Oh, you know me? Yes, sir. So now God will help you. You are paying this car? Sir? Are you still paying it? Yes. Huh? So now God will help you. Let's cancel this debt. There's a brother there at the back. I want to pray for you. There's a brother there. My name is Maureen O'Neill from Botswana. A man of God here said that there's a young lady who bought a car and he had an accident. Yes, it's true. I had to have a small car, the Renex. It had an accident during my wedding. From there until now, I did manage to buy the new, the new small car. And how did that affect you? It affects me because mm, my, my husband, he's a prophet, so we are staying from the other place and the branch is the other place. Every time when we, we are going to the service day, we have to struggle with the transport. And yesterday, when we were supposed to come here from Botswana, there was somebody who was promising to sell us the small car, but he didn't communicate. Yeah, so our journey here, it was we are having a problem with the transport. Hmm. And now, what is it that you believe God is going to do for you? I believe God will give me the new car. And yes, I believe it will happen. Amen. Tell your neighbor and say, Today is my day. Yes. Say, Today is my day. Yes. Say, God wants to give you a car, you? Yes. And there's Amen. a promotion also that is coming. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. God wants to give you a car. Amen. <laughs> yeah, I it. Well, my name is Amitabo. Yeah. And I confirm that no, the prophecy is true. What a man of God told me, told me that no, the promotion is coming to my way and the car as well. That's what he told me. And I believe that God, as long as he's away from above, that is true, it shall come to pass. And were you praying for this? Yes, I was praying for them. And how are you feeling now? Now I'm feeling, I'm feeling okay. And I know that no, as long as he spoke like that, it shall come to pass. As God's way is always shall come to pass like that. My brother, you'll finish this issue of the house. Don't worry. Are you ready? God will give you money. God Amen. will give you money. Amen. Are you ready? Amen. God will give you money. You'll be able to finish these things. Amen. Huh? Amen. And marriage is coming. After the issue of the house is done, this car that is coming. Amen. This car will come with a marriage at the same time. Amen. Oh, my name is Tisa Nungona. The prophecy from today, uh, the prophet uh, Andres told me about uh, the house that I was building at home. I did finish the house, but there is something that is nearly not done there. I have to finish up. So he told me then I will receive the, the finance, which means it's true. Uh, there is something that I have to finish up. And this prophecy about this house, he told me even uh, three weeks back ago that there is the money that is going to come. I will buy the furniture from that house. So I believe in God and the grace upon this place. I will finish it and I will buy it. Then the second thing, he talked about the, the marriage and the car. I was thinking about buying the car this, this December, but I thought I don't want to rush about it. So I believe this is a confirmation. It's already on the pipeline. 
then I will buy it. But I just told myself I have to wait, then and check some other things, and then after that I will buy the car. And they talk they talk about the marriage. Even the marriage, I think, is the fourth prophecy. He told me about that marriage is coming. So I believe God will do it for me. Everything that he prophesies me, then God will do it for me. Because everything that I have got the prophecy from uh, Prophet Andres, everything came to pass. So I believe even those prophecies that he gave me now, it's going to come to pass. So I believe God has already done it for me. Amen. God is healing you. Yes. God is healing you. Yes. Because there's a spirit of high blood and you must be careful of stroke. Are you hearing me? Yes. So today I'll pray for you. This problem will leave you. You came here with who? Is your father? Yes. You know he's sick. No, I don't know. Huh? I don't know. He never told you? No, he didn't tell me. I just phoned him yesterday. I said, I will come and take you to go to church. So today, <coughs> today you know that he's sick. God yeah, is healing today. you. Thank you, Lord. How you, which language do you speak? Yes. yes. I don't know how to speak it in Shanghai. But God is healing you. Thank you, Jesus. Roger <laughs> And for how long have you been having this problem? Uh, can you also confirm? Confirm also. Yes, uh, he didn't tell me, but uh, yesterday I phoned I phone him, I say uh, I'm going to take him to, to church. So I'm very happy because even me, I was, I was praying that he, if he get the deliverance, he also get, get deliverance for the family. So even me today, I'm very happy about the thing that uh, he got the prophecy and uh, they pray for, for, for him. Now I know that he's healed perfectly and I know that even the family, they get deliverance for, for today. So I and Papa, now that they've prayed for you, how are you feeling since you were feeling pains? Okay. Who's having a crash? I don't know. Huh? I don't know. Where you're staying? Mm, it's my neighbor. Huh? It's my neighbor. It's your neighbor? Yes. They've got a crash? Yes. Huh? Yes. From now on, because I'm seeing, as I was talking about the spirit of a monitoring spirit. Yes. I'm seeing a monitoring spirit to you also. Are oh, you hearing yes. me? Yes. So now, you people there, I'm not seeing, it's like you're not... It's like you're pretending to each other. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. Because I'm seeing a crash here. I'm seeing you on the other side. Yes. And there's a lot of pretense here. Yes. So may God fight for you. And tell your child that there's a job that is coming. Okay. Okay. 
My name is Onika Galani, and a prophet, a Simono prophesied me that there is a crash next to me, and then we pretend to each other, and the, com the, the confirmation is yes, it's true. They are staying next to me, and then we don't agree with anything. And then they prophesy and say to me, my, my, ch my child is going to get another job. Yes. And the issue of uh, you pretending with your neighbor, how is that affecting you? Uh, I say it, it, it's my neighbor, and then we used to, to stay together. And then it's the way the neighbor... I, I, it, doesn't pre, it doesn't affect me a lot because there was a, a problem of borrowing money, and then they didn't bring my money back. They just come and say, let's make a, a, a business together, give me money, and then we will sell these clothes and then I give her money. But it was long, long time ago and then I just give her money and then they didn't bring it back even today. And with this prophecy that you have received, not only for yourself but also for your daughter, what is it that you believe God will do? Mm, I believe that we are going to agree with, we are going to, 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 to show them love for those who don't uh, understand us and then we are not going to pretend to them and then we are going to show them love that we are we are loving them doesn't matter what is happening and I do believe that my daughter is going to get a job. Amen. I want to pray for you. Okay. Are you me? Yes. I want to pray for you that God must give you another job. Okay. Are you me? Yes. Are you not tired of working in department? Oh! Hello, look at me. Are you not tired of working with cars? I'm tired. Are you not tired of cars? I'm tired. You're tired. Mm. In Jesus' name. May a better job come. No more cars issue. Come out! Come out! Leave you. My name is Maite Mamarara. I'm from Kayalami. The prophecy it was about my job where I'm working. If I'm not tired of where I'm working. Uh, he asked me if I'm not tired of where I'm working. What is making you to be tired? Uh, the environment. Yeah. And for how long has this been stressing you? Since from uh, last year. Yes. And now that they've prayed for you, what are you believing God for? For another job. Amen. <laughs> to pray for you. Amen. Are you ready? Yes. I want to pray for you, but you need to be careful about some people around you. Yes. Because we people, there's a spirit that wants to make you not to live right. Yes. Huh? Yes. You need to be careful about these drunkards. Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Because sometimes it's like you are taken away by a very dangerous spirit. Yes. So you need to package your life. You live right. Amen. Huh? Amen. Did you go to ETV? Yes, I huh? did. Yes, I did. You went to ETV? Yes. Huh? Yes. Is the rhythm... Uh, rhythm City. Rhythm City. Yes. So now, let's pray so that a breakthrough must come. But you need to leave these people. Amen. You need to leave these people. Amen. Are you hearing me? Hey! 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 So what are you doing here? Yes. Huh? I'm blocking everything. You're blocking everything? Everything. Who are you? Oh. Huh? Who are you? I don't want these people, man. I want them you? to suffer. Huh? I want them to suffer. Uh, there's a lady there. There's, <gasps> a, there's a car that is coming. See, stand up. You, stand up. I'm looking at you. Hmm? Uh, so you want to make this lady to live uh, this funny life? You. Huh? 
I'm blocking everything. You're blocking everything. Everything. I'm blocking a job. Uh -huh. I'm blocking a marriage. Everything. Uh -huh. They are suffering. So you wanted to live this funny life. <laughs> you. Huh? Everyone. Everyone. Uh -huh. Everyone. So live here. No one wanted this one. Out. Leave it out. Out. Come out. You demon. Out. Out. Mama, there's a case in the family. Uh, my name is Zini Kunundu. I'm from Ivory Park. Uh, Prophet Andres prophesied me that I must be, be careful of people around me because I'm surrounded by drunkards. Uh, and that is true. Um, almost my family, they are drunkards. And sometimes they, they, ask, they, they, they ask me to also to drink. That's, the, the prophecy was true. And how was that affecting you? It was affecting me because sometimes... Um, I, I can't even concentrate on some other things of the family because almost of them, they are drunkards. And now that you have received deliverance, what are you believing God for? I believe that um, God will help me so that they can come to church also to, 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 to find the grace of charis. Amen. There's a car that is coming. Stand up, let me tell you again. Can you hold it? There's a better car that is coming. Amen. Oh, you hear me? Amen. You know, your, your enemies will be ashamed. Amen. There's a car that is coming. Amen. My name is Chilisi Namangoni, originally from Venda, but I'm currently staying around here in Tembisa. Um, the prophecy given to me today was that God is going to bless me with a car. Um, yeah, that's it. And were you planning on buying a car? I have been thinking about it, but I think I was more on the discouraged side. I felt like I don't need it anymore, but now that God has revealed it, I feel that it is time. And what is it that you're believing God will do for you and how are you feeling? In as much as uh, when the man of God prophesied, he said that he will give me a bigger car than the one I used to have, I believe that God is going to do it for his purpose and I will glorify him with the blessing that he would have given me. Amen. That's a case. Where is your husband? Oh? Oh? There's a case in the family. Eh. Hey. Oh, you hear me? Eh. Hey. You don't know where he is? Oh? <laughs> so now I want to pray for you. Yeah. Are you hearing me? Yeah. You don't know where your husband is? He's dead. Huh? Otoko Fesh. That's what I'm asking. You don't know where he is? Otoko Fesh. The reason why I'm asking you is because since he died now, even you, you are sick now. Hey. There's this leg that is giving you problems. Hey. Huh? Hey. It's like the same people now want to hit you with a stroke. Hey. Huh? Hey. Because it's like sometimes it's coming to you in your dreams. Hey. So, but today, may this case be reversed. Hey. Out! Kina Esther Mukhabudi. Skidula Chimistin at Londale. Eh, the prophets, Yeban prophets, living on a kinnet. Eh, by the Ugai Monag, Utlo Garage and Varnale, a lady, Gamzeb, so the mom pitched a stroke. No, but break it that case. Eh, and how was this affecting you? You, Munaga, or at Lucaral, Kibile, Correra Safra, Lufida, Mara, Ganaquabo Fellel, Rabasses is full in Chirica, Kereke. And now that they've prayed for you, how are you feeling? 
ke fila light because in to nencha ni le mopilong ya ka ha ke robetsi mopilong ya ka ke a tsepa hore modimo ka hore ditusho tse ka moka le bana ba ka gore ba kirembere ko ke dikirele mo kerekeng e ke a tsepa hore modimo o tlo ya maleng Oh you remember but there's a spirit Oh you remember Yes that visit you yes. Oh you remember sister Yes and the same spirit now is the one that is eating up everything when you touch man you don't know what you're doing with it Yes Huh Yes this this spirit of the family Oh you remember Yes sometimes it's pressing you there trying to and now it has caused you problems here Yes. If you go to the doctor they will tell you about five bros that are trying to grow here. So but by God's grace we'll pray for you. I believe there's a solution for your life. Amen. Are you ready? Amen. Okay. There's a brother here you started a business with someone now they are giving you problems you started a business you started a business with someone now they are giving you problems it's like this what did you do the business mm in spartan huh in Spartan, around Captain Park. Who are the people that are doing business with? Uh, uh, I, but they get so many equas. Huh? Uh, they run away. Yeah. Oh, yes. And you know when I was here, you knew I was talking about you. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. It was, when I was standing there, I was feeling your heart. Look, good, good, good. So I wanted you to come out by faith. And I was even looking at you like this. So now, let's pray that God must restore you. Oh, oh yes. Because you may, these are vultures oh. that you have met. Yeah. Are you hearing me? Yes, so now, you people who started a business, but you started encountering problems. Oh, yes, Lord. Are you hearing me? Yeah. So may God fight for you. May there be a restoration. You're blessed. My name is Langelan Machabele. Yeah, professor it is so. Yeah, kuna ban lava nanga sangana na bone enter business so. E shaba slash shaba e shaba and then bafamba na mal. Since eta ba kumi slash shaba e shaba ni an kuma angena shingo and the prophet is true. Yeah. And when did it happen and how did it affect you? Uh. So mainly in July, yeah, so in affecting financial problem, I'm like now I'm, I'm okay because of this church. Yeah. And were you praying that God should intervene in your situation? Yes, like uh, I remember last time, the the Bible level, I mean, I this situation, one zola like um, I have to forgive. So so look what stuff I'm back at, and then this ending. As they've given you a word of a guidance of saying that you should forgive so that your things can go well, what is it that you are believing God is going to do for you? Uh, yeah, like that I'm going to go to the house. i Oh, you hear me? There's a delay in your business. Let me pray for you. Who are the people that you're doing business with? Vetra me na mina dogo dela makamu. Confirmation kure prophet Andresun prophesy ni regarding business. Me na kure kuna delay. You saw that because sukela. Early first quarter of uh, this year, because we look back on the project and the end, so I confirm. So I go to professor and he can go on. 
and were you praying about this? Um, yes, I am not going to talk about it. I am not going to talk about it. Yes. And what do you believe God will do with this word of prophecy that you have received today? Tani le shi shikomu shinga shu mesala matweni na kutembele shaka kutabaga na kuchicha and then dinaleta fulega kusuka na moja lepetra Yesu Kristo.